Okay, class, thank you. Uh, um, uh, thank you for hanging out, uh, waiting for me. Uh, yeah, I was having an issue with uh, Hangouts. I had to switch uh, browsers and things like that. So uh, we're, uh, we're good to go now. First off, first off, the, uh, the link that I put in the class materials is incorrect. Okay, um, I, I was going through and, and setting up my classes and I posted the wrong link. Uh, the actual link is, uh, is right here. Okay, uh, that is the, the correct link. So, uh, again, don't go to the class materials link. That is the uh, incorrect link. I have to go go through uh, later uh, later today as well and, and uh, delete the other one and put this one in. Because when I was copying and pasting it, uh, I, I copied and pasted the the incorrect uh, uh, the incorrect link. Eh, mistakes happen. I'm not perfect. Uh, so uh, this hour we are going to be talking about uh, confusing words, uh, more specifically, uh, lose and loose. Okay, and the difference between the two, pronunciation-wise, as well as when and how we use the word. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's see who we have in class so far. Uh, let's see, Sineb, uh, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. And you? Uh, I'm doing uh, I'm doing great. And uh, uh, am I pronouncing your name correctly? Is it Sineb uh, or Sineb? Sineb. Uh, Sineb. Okay. And where are you from? I'm from Morocco, but I'm living in Italy now. I live in Italy since I was a child, so. I have cool. uh, both nationality. Great, and uh, and so I imagine your parents moved from Morocco to Italy, right? Yes, only. And that's how you got there. Only during holidays. Okay, and uh, and uh, how how do you like uh, Italy versus uh, Morocco? I uh, I like both of them, but okay. I like Italy because uh, it's mm, here life is more safe and. Uh, you're sure. not afraid of uh, going out because uh, maybe a man will rape you and so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, definitely something to be afraid of. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I don't want that to happen to, uh, to any woman at all. Uh, well, good. And what do you do? Uh, are you a, a student or do you work full time? I'm a student studying languages. Cool. Very good. Well, welcome, uh, welcome to class. Uh, it's you. good to have you here. And I promise I'll stop labeling women. Okay, I promise that. <laughs> <laughs> good, good to have you here. Thank you. And uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from the United States, but I, I currently live in Costa Rica. Oh, good. That's yeah. good. I Very have cool. been in the United States last year. Uh, where did you go? Uh, New York City. Fun. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, a lot. It was amazing. Great, great. Yeah, have you been to any other places in the U.S.? No, uh, I have been only to you know, you know, New York. Okay, all right. That's a that's a great place in itself. Very cool. Yes, it is very very nice and uh, full of people. So. Definitely very crowded. Very crowded. Yes. Yes. All right. Sounds good. Well, thank you very much. Uh, let's go to. I believe your name is. Uh, is it Ing or is it Frank? You go by Frank Rodriguez. Frank, are you there? Make sure that your, your microphone is unmuted, and I'll uh, I'll get right back to you. How about Bobby? How are you? Hey, it has been a while. How are I know. you? How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing great. Good, good. How was your How was your last weekend? Weekend? Ah, uh, well, it was my birthday on Sunday. What? So... Your birthday? <laughs> yeah. Cool. What so, did you do? Ah, uh, well, started with a uh, okay, a uh, familiar lunch uh, with uh -huh. friends, and something like that. Yeah. Cool. Very good. Uh, I, uh, I did you uh, say that again? Okay. No, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to ask you if if you got a uh, a present for your birthday. Well, yeah. What did you get? Uh t-shirt, uh, a watch. Um, something like, thing like that. Great, that's that's awesome. Very cool. <laughs> By the way, I started my internship, um, but it wasn't a, 
as I expected. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, I was talking with the uh, woman in the financial part, and she said to me, I'm gonna be honest with you. Here, there is nothing, nothing to do. Just look at me. And she was chatting on, on her phone and talking with another woman in the office. I said, yes, I'm looking at you. And then uh, she said, you know what? You don't need to come here every day. Let's do something. Give me your tel your cell phone number, and I will call you when I need you. I, I, I don't know if I should be happy because more vacation, or I should cry because, hey, the internship is in order to learn, to get experience, and I'm tired of doing nothing. I have been on vacation from for, for four months. Oh, uh, man. That's horrible. <laughs> that yeah. is horrible, I man. I don't have time to get another internship because it's almost May. Oh, dude, that's terrible, man. Well, I'm I'm sorry that it that it happened out that it turned out that way. That's no fun at all. Not at all. What do you well, do? um, um, not much. You know, uh, same old, uh, same old, same old. Uh, uh hanging out. I, uh, um. I don't know. I may uh, I may uh, do some music this this week. I gotta contact my friend and see uh, and see what he's up to. Uh, but yeah, cool. yeah. Other other than that, you know, just teaching, exercising, hanging out with the family. Um, yeah. And other eating. than that, everything's good. And eating. Yeah, I love eating. It's the good stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right. That's cool. Very cool, man. Uh, let's see. How about uh, Anastasia? How are you? Hi, chat. It's my. Team. Oh, it's Oksana. Yes, yes. How are you? I'm doing good. good. How morning. about you? Well, I, thank you I'm, very much. Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, everything uh, same like before. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> has happened. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> that's that's, that's like fine. Day. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Anastasia was telling me that uh, that you two just barely started teaching adults that uh, in tennis. That uh, before you were teaching. Um, um, uh, tennis lessons to uh, to children or, or younger uh, yeah. uh, uh, or teenagers, something like that. But now you're teaching. Uh, you have uh, some adult clients. Uh, that's great. You know, uh, yeah. ne next step up. Good. Uh, more Very people good. interested in our country in tennis. What you? What about you? You exercise. You you play tennis or you never um, play? I've, I've never played tennis. In fact, uh, when I was in school, the people that played tennis were kind of weird. Okay, they were strange people. They're like, well, why are you playing tennis? How come you don't play, you know, uh, uh, baseball or basketball or uh, or football uh, or wrestling. Wrestling was another very popular sport in my in my school. I, I played uh, American football. That's what I played, and uh, um, and and then I and then I lifted weights when I was in high school as well. Uh, I was uh, I was uh, probably well certain certain parts of my my body w were much stronger. I used to be really strong, uh, like extremely strong in my in my legs and in my back. And now I'm I'm getting to that point uh, again, uh, but because I lost it, my my muscles had uh, atrophied, which means to shrink in size, uh, they had atrophied. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm getting back to that now. The main sport that I love, absolutely love watching, is uh, mixed martial arts. It's uh, it's uh, uh, specifically on the UFC, which is uh, um, Ultimate Fighting, uh, which is uh, it's kind of like a uh, boxing and karate and and uh, all, all the different types of fighting um, mixed together. Because um, they are to be a, one of those fighters, you have to be in incredible shape. And so I, I like to do those styles of workouts. It's really fun. Yeah. Is this like that's, Muay that's Thai? Like uh, yeah, like Muay, Muay Thai. Uh -huh. Muay Thai in Thailand from Thailand. Exactly, mm. exactly. So yeah, it's a it's a it's a fun wow. sport for me to watch, and then I, and then I do those exercises. Okay, no problem. Uh, if you come to our country, we give you lesson for tennis. Okay, very cool. <laughs> we'll plan on it. <laughs> Great, thank you. Let's go to uh, Amar. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm doing. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking, uh, Amar. Uh, how was uh, How was uh, school going for you? Uh, I just finished uh, my final exam. Really? Uh, how did uh, How did everything go? 
Uh, the result is uh, next uh, s Sunday, I think, or Monday. Okay. All right. So you'll find out uh, here in the next week or so. Very yeah. good. All right. Well, definitely let me know how things went, okay? Uh, okay. Good. Well, welcome, welcome back to class. It's good to have you here. Thanks. Okay. And uh, Adela, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How uh, um, how was your your past weekend? Did you do anything uh, interesting or fun? Uh, no, not too. Uh, DIY. Uh, I uh, piped you in. Did it? Did it yourself? <laughs> yes. There you go. Uh, because I, I piped in uh, the chair and table to the terrace in the terrace. Uh, you painted them. You painted them. Yes. <laughs> great, great. Yeah, so you did, you did some uh, housework and you painted the chair and table out on your terrace. All right, great. That sounds wonderful. Well, thank you, uh, thank you for sharing, Adela. Uh, let's see if I missed anybody else here in class. How about Amparo? Welcome back to class. How you doing? Here again. <laughs> yep. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Okay. All right, and uh, what's your plans for the rest of the day on Bado? The rest of the... Nothing special. Okay. All right, well, I'm glad that you were able to make it to, uh, to class. It's good to have you here. Uh, let's see. Uh, we also have uh, Arafat. How are you? Arafat, can you hear me okay? Okay. Uh, well, I'll uh, I'll come back to you. See if your your mic is working. Um, how about uh, let's see. How about Juan? Juan, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Uh, Juan, where are you from? I'm from Dominican Republic. Cool. Uh, and uh, what do you do? Are you a student or do you work full time? I student English and also student accounting. Majoring on content. Okay. All right. Very cool. And uh, so, welcome, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Yeah, it is good. All right. And uh, how about uh, Peter? How you doing, Peter? Hello, Chad. I'm fine. How about you? I'm doing great. Uh, Peter, where are you? F where are you from? I'm from Germany. Uh, you're from Germany. Yeah. Okay, and uh, and uh, what do you do in Germany? What's your 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 job, or are you a student? Uh, no. <laughs> no, uh, I would neither. Be a very old student indeed. <laughs> uh, no, I'm I'm working. Uh, okay, what's your what's your uh, job? Currently part time as a I think you would call it personal assistant. Working okay. With uh, elderly people, disabled people. Uh, that's not actually my profession. So, All right. What's yeah, so uh, what's your, you your original to, profession? You have to make a living somehow. <laughs> sure, definitely, definitely. Uh, what's uh, what's your original profession? Uh, the original original one was a radiographer, and uh, after that, uh, a couple of years ago, I, I went on training for healthcare management assistant. Okay. But I've never I, worked in the second profession because, well, I guess I'm too old for that because <laughs> no job experience, uh, already 49, uh, that's a bit tricky in Germany. Okay. All right. But you did work as a radiographer? Yeah, for 20 years, almost 20 years. Cool. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, welcome to class. It's good to have you Thank here. You. All right. How about, uh, let's see, uh, Brew? Hi. Hi, how Hello. are you? Fine, and you? I'm doing good. And uh, Bru, where are you from? Uh, from I'm from Brazil, Rio. Okay, good. And, uh, yeah. and what do you do? I, I work with uh, tourism. I'm a tour guide here. Cool. What, uh, where do you take people? Um, at the Sugarloaf, at the beaches, and I don't know the forest, the okay. Many so places. any anywhere, yeah. right? So anywhere, anywhere people yeah, want to go. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, cool. Good to, good to have you here in class. Thank you. All right. How about uh, Arafat? Did you get your uh, microphone working? Nope, not so much. Okay. Um, if, uh, if you do get into class and uh, you realize that your microphone is not working, there's a couple things that you can do. Okay. Um, first off, go up to this, uh, this button here. This is my, uh, my mouse. Okay, go up to this button. Okay, and make sure it's not red like this. Okay, if it is red, that means you are muted. Okay, um, and then if it is not red, check your computer uh, settings. Okay, by touching this button, you can select your camera, your microphone, or your speakers, and then make sure to. All right, so um, let's uh, let's go ahead and get uh, get into class. Uh, I did list the wrong uh, the wrong link. Okay, that link one more time is uh, is right here. So uh, go ahead and and open that up. If you're hanging out in a Google, <clears throat> Google Chat, okay, I'll list the link for you as well in in that area. Okay, and uh, we're going to be talking about uh, confusing words uh, today. More specifically, uh, lose and loose, lose and loose. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, when you do, this is what you'll see. It should already be on the loose and lose tab. Okay, and uh, this is what we're going to be talking about. Okay, uh, is it not tight or gone? All right, the, uh, the uh, pronunciation is uh, very similar. Okay, spelling is very close. Uh, the uh, definition, though, is very different. Okay, so we're going to uh, go ahead and talk about these here, okay? Um, first off, the pronunciation. Okay, um, when something is lu, loose. Okay, that is with a unvoiced s, loose. S. Okay, that sound, that s sound, loose. Okay, that is double o, o loose. Okay, uh, when it is uh, when you lose something, that is a voiced s, z, lose lose okay past tense would be lost okay I lost my keys yesterday and I had to walk to work okay lose all right so loose and lose all right so uh, let's go ahead and uh, and take a look at these words here and we'll get into some uh, exercises uh, a little bit later uh, Adela let's uh, start off with you uh, yes. let me have you read uh, everything in the uh, box on the left-hand side regarding loose. Loose. The adjective loose is used uh, for something that... Uh, sorry, uh, I lost the screen. Uh, for something... Uh, 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 is used for something that is not tied or fasten in place, not attach uh, to anything. Sophie, tooth is loose. She is loosening the tooth with her finger. Your dog is loose. The football good got loose, so the other team took possession of it. You are too anxious, hang loose. There you go, hang loose. Okay, that means to relax. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, very good. Let's go to uh, Amar. Let me have you read about lose. Okay, that is with that Z sound, lose. That's the voiced S. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The verb lose is uh, used uh, when we stop having, no longer have, something or we gradually have a lose of a particle did uh, quietly a bitly ATC for example by 
misfortune we fail to win something or we misplace something or we no longer have something in delicking the death of something by by good uh, fortune fortune uh, we lose weight uh, where's a, a bad attitude attitude attitude, uh, attitude, attitude ATC uh, Sophie will lose her tooth in a day or so uh, you may lose your dog if you don't keep him inside our team needs to play better better, uh, better better or we will lose the game you will lose uh, your timber if you connect this way Okay, C good. Continue. continue. This way. continue yeah. Continue this way. Excellent. Thank you, Amar. Okay, great. So, loose with the double O, loose, and the unvoiced S. Okay, that means to loose or uh, uh, or something that is not uh, tight. Okay, um, you can you can say that clothing is loose. Okay, clothing, if it's really baggy, you could say, oh, yes, he's wearing a loose-fitting shirt. Okay, loose. We could talk talk about clothing. Okay, but, if, uh, uh, chat, if there is uh, a... Yes? Uh, you always have to add the word fitting, or could you uh, just say, uh, I have loose, loose, uh, uh, a loose T-shirt on? Uh -huh. Yeah, a loose T-shirt on, sense? you can say that. Uh -huh. that, would, oh. that would make sense. Yeah, you could say I have a loose T-shirt on. That would mean it's it's sort of a big or baggy shirt. Okay, uh -huh. but Something you don't like have that. to add the word fitting. A loose no. fitting. Okay. No, uh, you can, but it's not absolutely necessary. We would know what you meant by that if you were to say mm -hmm. a loose shirt. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, but yeah, so you may see some uh, Levi's uh, when you go buy Levi's. They would call them a loose fit jean. Okay, so loose fit jeans. Um, so that's a, that's a one way to use it. Um, but like a screw, okay? So uh, a, a screw would be loose. You may need to tighten a screw, and you would use a screwdriver because it's loose. Mm -hmm. Okay? Or you loosen. All right? So that's that same word. Okay? Loosen. Okay? But you're loosening a screw. Okay, so maybe something doesn't shut quite, quite right. Maybe it's too hard. Okay, you could say, hey, can you loosen that screw? Uh, it may be able to close easier. Okay, so you loosen the screw. Okay, you can loosen your belt. Let's say, oh man, you ate a whole bunch of food. Okay, uh, I went out with uh, Peter and we had, we had sausages and beer all night long. I'm just kidding, Peter. I'm not saying that all Germans only eat sausage and beer. But I'm a vegetarian. A good... Oh, are you? Great. <laughs> so I so... wouldn't eat sausages anyway. <laughs> all right. So so we, we go and we eat a whole bunch of food. You loosen your belt. Okay? Loosen your belt loop because your pants are really tight. Okay? You loosen your belt. Okay? That's, a, that's one way of, of, uh, of saying that. Okay? Now, lose. Okay? Lose with the voiced... S. Okay, how do we how can we tell between a voiced and unvoiced? Voiced, you feel here. Lose. It there's a vibration. Lose. Okay, loose. S there's no vibration here. Try that. S no vibration. Z vibration. Okay, that's how you can tell that you are are saying it correctly. Loose, no vibration. <coughs> Lose vibration. Okay, that's how we tell between the voiced and unvoiced sounds. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, what can we lose? We can lose our temper. Okay. Uh, Lucas here. He says uh, the shipment is loose. You may lose it. That's right. So if it's on a boat or in the car, something like that, or on the back of a motorcycle, if it's loose, okay, if it's loose, you may lose it. It may fall off. 
Okay, um, and that that's one way to use that word as well. Lose it. Okay, so I I, I lost. Okay, that would be past tense. I lost my keys, like I said yesterday. Okay, I, or I could say, oh, Oksana, I lose my keys every day. Can you help me find them? Okay, they're they're lost. Okay, all right. So that's the difference. That's the difference between the two words. Let's uh, let's keep uh, reading and find out some more information. Okay, uh, let's go to Amparo. Mm -hmm. and we are going to uh, scroll down. Okay, and uh, uh, we're talking about uh, loose as an adjective. Okay, go ahead and read these uh, these four meanings, please. Okay, loose adjective meaning free, escape, um, escape. Uh, the chickens run loose in the yard. Not tied. He prefers to wear loose shirts and touched in random order. Vegetables grow well in loose soil. He carries loose change in his pocket. We make a loose left, uh, left tea rather than using tea bags. Approximate in a set. He has a loose explanation, arrangement, agreement. Okay, good, good. A loose explanation, uh, agreement, or arrangement. A loose agreement. Okay. Uh, so if someone has a loose agreement or arrangement in a uh, 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 an apartment they're renting, okay, that may mean that uh, it, it's probably not a contract for six months or a year. It may be on a month-to-month -month contract, so they can leave whenever uh, whenever they want. Okay, um, loose change. This is a uh, a very common uh, uh, a common uh, phrase to say. That means coins. Loose change. Okay, that that's coins. It's it's just uh, it's money. Okay, loose change. All right. And uh, Peter, this is that example we were talking about before. Yeah, yeah, loose well, loose shirts. Okay. Uh, very good. Let's uh, let's keep uh, scrolling down. All right, let's go to uh, Oksana. Oksana, let me have you yes. read the next uh, the next four, please. Uh, expression: Escape, run away. The horse will break loose from its enclosure if it is not closed well. Relax, get a little wild. He walked onto the dance floor and cut loose. Internationally lose control. He has nothing to do. He doesn't want to be at loose ends. He doesn't know where to go. Antras. Oh, it's very difficult word. Antras. Worthy. Un okay. Untrustworthy. Ah. Untrustworthy. <laughs> Untrustworthy. Unpredictable. He was loose a cannon on, on the battle file. Someone who cannot be trusted because they say or do things you do not want them to. Okay, very good. Thank yeah. you. Um, let's see, loose cannon. This is a this is a very popular one. Okay, um, you know, someone at your office uh, or uh, um, you know at school maybe a loose cannon. Okay, that means that they get angry, very uh, very upset, or. You don't know when they may say something that's that's really strange. Okay, you're like, what? What was that? That that was really odd. You know, why would you say that? Well, he's a loose cannon. You never know what he's gonna say. Like, okay, that like, would be unpredictable. Like someone who explodes very very uh, uh, easily. Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a he's, loose cannon. Uh -huh. um, yeah, you may. Um, uh, let's say maybe like a a, 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 a football or a soccer coach. Okay, um, they, they may be a, a loose cannon to where they get upset really quick and just go off, and they're they're really unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Okay, with that, and they get angry. Okay, also a loose cannon would be uh, someone that would say something that uh, that isn't quite right. It doesn't fit the situation. It's unpredictable. Okay. Well, okay, I, I'm or, just or trying to make sense huh? of of loose cannon mm -hmm. uh, because a, a cannon can get off. No. Uh, yes, it can. It so, can. So it, it, that it, it makes can sense explode. to me. Otherwise, sure. uh, it, it's a bit kind of Yeah, yeah. Um, cut loose to break to uh, intentionally lose control on the dance floor. Get wild. Okay, things like that. Uh, yes, these are all uh, uh, all excellent expressions that we uh, that we use. 
Okay, uh, let's uh, let's take a look at the last three here. These are for uh, Brew. Let me have you read okay. these last three, please. Yeah, uh, be relaxed. Just go in there and hang loose. Stay calm. Do not worry. Uh, allow emotions to escape. The wolf let loose a hole. He picks up a guitar and lets loose. Have no cars or worries. He's footloose and fancy free. Good. Yes, footloose and fancy free. Um, that uh, that has to do a little bit with uh, with cut loose as well. So you're footloose and fancy free. That means you have nothing that's holding you back. Okay. No cares. No worries. Things like that. Okay. Uh, to let loose is very popular as well. Okay, so he would let let loose a a growl or a yell. Okay, so um, if uh, for example, if someone uh, um, had died uh, or passed away in your family, okay, uh, you may let loose a a a, a scream. Okay, you can't control yourself. You can't control the the emotion, and uh, and it just comes out of you. Okay, um, and it also is used like here with uh, playing music. Okay, let's loose. You let that emotion go without it, without trying to control it. You just play. Okay. But the question: uh, uh, What is uh, in this in this phrase? Uh, hole. Uh, the wolf let loose a hole. What is Ow! this? Ow! Ah, okay. 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 That's uh -huh. a uh, that's a howl. All right. Um, yeah, that's a howl. Okay, now uh, the difference, you have howl, which is ah, okay, a growl would be Rrr. Yeah. Okay, growl is when they, okay. when that, it comes from deep inside the body, okay, Rrr. and they're really mad, okay. Like throat, um, yeah. Let's see, Adela, let's see, lost. Yes. Um, yeah, it's it can be used as an adjective as well, okay, lost keys. Okay, he has lost keys, um, so it could describe um, what uh, you know what the what those keys are. Okay, a lost child. Okay, you can use that as a as an adjective. Okay, um, and same as loose. Um, the question is, what is the difference uh, to adjective lost uh, when you use the past participle as an adjective and loose? Uh, as an adjective, I I have a a confusion. Okay. Um. Uh. To to uh. Um. When someone uh, lets loose, okay, and, and you're using it that way, you're kind of breaking breaking free. Okay. Every time that we have the, that we use the word loose, it's kind of like breaking those restrictions. Okay. Um. So uh, it's just like um uh, to loosen. Okay, we're we're kind of unscrewing something and making it be a little bit more wiggly because uh, in our lives we have, I guess, in some people's lives, you have rules that you follow. There's a certain way to act. Okay, and when we let loose or we break loose, it's like pushing the rules and everything to the side, and we we have this this feeling of of freedom. Okay, and that's why we that's why we use loose because it's kind of like if you were a a, a, a screw and you were screwed into the wood, right? You're screwed into the wood, and then finally you're you're free and you're loose and you can do whatever you want. Okay, on on the other hand, lost is something that you cannot find. Okay. Okay, that's that's the difference. Lost something you cannot find. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, all right. Very good. Let's uh, let's keep uh, rolling down. Uh, great questions, everybody. These are these are really good. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's go to loosen. All right. And let's see here. This is for uh, Juan. Yep. Uh, Juan, let me have you read uh, read these uh, three right here, please. Loosen bird. All right. Loosen bird, uh, hunting. Can you loosen this now? Relax, loosen up. Relax, relax a little. The government loosening is all to the protection. Right. Expression, it's been more easy. 
a little uh, hardly loosen his tongue. Let's be more easy. A very economy will allow people to loosen their wallets. It's three more easy. A few a few water up exercise will loosen your muscle. Okay, good, good. All right, so uh, you see how in every sense we're kind of uh, releasing that restriction. Okay. Alcohol, what does that do? That kind of loosens you up a little bit, okay? It, uh, you have less of an in inhibition, okay? You talk about whatever you want to sometimes. Sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing, right? Uh, we've all known those, uh, those drunk people that, uh, that talk a little too much, right? Um, okay, so uh, alcohol does that, okay? A better economy. If you feel, feel better about what's going on, your, your wallet will loosen up. Okay, uh, warming, warming up, stretching. That'll loosen your muscles so that you can, uh, you can do other things. Okay, so in each sense, whenever we use this word, we're talking about um, removing the restriction. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's uh, roll down. We're talking about lose. Okay, and uh, looks like we lost Peter. Uh, let's go to Selma. Selma, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you, teacher. Great. All right, let's, uh, let me have you go to the, uh, let's see, how many we have here? We've got a bunch, I believe. Okay, so uh, first, uh, let me have you do the first five. Okay, go ahead and read through the uh, meanings and the sentence, please. Uh, okay, so not win, he lost the election, game, a match competition by a landslide, a lot, misplaces, she loses her key, Quite often, she finds them again later. A lot to escape. She will lose her dog if she doesn't close the gate. Miss an opportunity. We lost a chance to see him before he's left. Decrease weight. Most people lose weight when they have the flu. Good. Lose. Okay. Lose weight. Okay. Good. Uh, let's uh, let's go down to the next uh, five. And this is for uh, uh, Zenith. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good. So, Let me have you read the next five, please. Die. He lost his father re recently to a heart attack. I'm sorry for your loss. Stop having an ability. After he turned 90, he lost his sight, hearing, voice, balance, sense of smell, etc. Stop having an control. After he turned 90, he lost his temper, his control, his mind, his head, his school. He lost it. Uh, having, the next, yep, keep going. Stop having an emotion. He must, he must not lose his confidence, interest, hope, respect, hurt, etc. And one more. Stop having a sense. While walking in the forest, he lost his sense of direction, sense of time, etc. He lost, the, he, he lost his way. Good, thank you. Now these are these are all extremely common. Okay, lost his father. If you hear someone saying lost his father, that does not mean that uh, that he is uh, missing. Okay, that means that they passed away. Okay, someone had died. All right, that is a very very common way to say that because it feels a little uncomfortable to say someone died, okay, or passed away. It's a little crass. Okay, so we say lost instead of it is uh, more die. Formal. Yeah, it's it's more formal. It's a little bit more kind. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, lost control. Okay. Lost control of his temper. Confidence. Okay. Uh, certain emotions. All right. Sense of direction. This is a good one as well. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's see. Let's go to the last four that are here. Uh, this is for Adela. Uh, stop having something. Okay, and uh, down, okay? Okay, Adela, are you there? Sí, right. yes, sorry. There you are. <laughs> stop, stop having, having something. He will lose his license if he is texting while driving. Stop having a special kill. This food is terrible. The chef has lost his touch. Stop having enough time. 
he lost time in the race because he had to repair a flat tire. Get right off, lose him, lose the attitude. Yeah, lose him, lose the attitude. Okay, uh, so yes, to get rid of something, you can you can command someone. You can say, "Hey, lose the attitude, Mister, or else you're, you're fired." All right. So that would mean that would mean uh, quit that, quit acting like a child, grow up. Okay, behave properly, things like that. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, Amar. Let me have you read uh, the next uh, three, please. Okay, uh, let's go to Amparo. Let me have you read the next three, please. Okay. Stop knowing the location or well being. We lose track of friends after we move away. We lose touch with friends after we move away. Have no risk, no change of losing. Ask him for a race. You have nothing to lose. He needs you. Stop receiving respect. They settled the disagreement so not that neither person would lose faith. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, uh, Oksana, let me have you uh, finish off these here. I think there's four more, four left. Uh, stop reasoning clearly. Think carefully. You don't want to lose sight of the situation. Stop reasoning clearly. Our team lost two lost out to a team with an even worse record. Not sleep well, insomnia. He loses sleep because he worries. Become crazy or confused. He's, lo he's lost, lost it. Yeah, very good. So yes, it refers to a sanity or a peaceful state of mind. So class, we just went through a lot of good idioms or phrasal verbs, okay? These, uh, these are, are uh, we, I can tell you, we use all of these, okay? Uh, these are common, okay? Very, very, very common. Not only with, with uh, lose, but also with loose, okay? They are very, very common, okay? Uh, we're going to uh, keep scrolling down, skip over these common mistakes. We've got about 10 minutes left, and I want to get into, uh, get into um, uh, our practices now, okay? Uh, let's go to uh, Brew. Yeah. And let me have you read number one, okay? Uh, tell me if, uh, if the, uh, the word in the sentence is correct or incorrect. Okay. Uh, he will lose his pants if he doesn't pull them up. Um, I think it's correct. Okay, let's, let's try it out. All right, now here... Uh, this word is loose. Yes, his pants are loose, but he will lose them, which would mean they would fall down. Yeah. Okay? He would lose. Lose his pants with a Z or the voiced S. Lose. Okay? okay. Meaning his pants would fall down. All right? Uh, let's go to number two. Uh, this is for Juan. Yep. He liked to wear loose clothes. This is incorrect. Okay, she likes to wear loose clothing. This all right, so it would be incorrect. All right, let's check it out. Okay, uh, it is correct. Okay, loose clothing means that it is not tight. Okay, it, it's not tight. Okay, so if you have a loose shirt, okay, it would be baggy. It would be a baggy shirt. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. So uh, this would be correct. Uh, let's go to number three, and this is for Sabri. Yes. Uh, can you lose the shoes? Let's a little more. They are there to think. Correct. All right. Can you can you loose the shoelaces a little more? They are too tight. Very good. Okay, uh, one of our keywords is tight. Tight. All right, yeah, so because they were tight, we want to loosen them, okay? So this is definitely correct. Yeah. 
Oh, oh. can you lose the shoot? Uh, no, so that would be. Work. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, lose incorrect. the sh shoelace? Inco uh, incorrect. Oh, loosen. Ha. <laughs> okay, uh, loosen. I see what they're saying. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, So use use uh, the, the different form. Use it as a verb. So can you loosen the shoelaces a little more? Ah, my <laughs> fault, my bad. The correct the correct word was used, not the correct form. So yes, it is it is loosen. Loosen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go to uh, number number four, and uh, this is for Selma. Uh, did you lose some lose something? Uh, incorrect. Okay. Good. This is incorrect. Okay. It needs to be lose. Mm. All right. Did you lose something? Okay, it's something mm -hmm. that would be lost. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right, how about number five? Uh, this is for uh, uh, CNEP. They have kittens running lost everywhere. Incorrect. Kittens running lost everywhere. Uh, uh, yeah, so it would be uh, incorrect because they would be running loose. loose. Okay, with that yeah. S sound, that would be voiceless S, loose. Yes. Okay, running, running loose everywhere, okay, or running free. That's what that would mean, class. So running loose would be running free, okay? Very good job. Okay, uh, number six, and uh, this is for Adela. Uh, yes, a person can lose uh, weight through diet and exercise. Uh, it's incorrect. It's uh, loose uh, with... Uh, One minute. Lost with only, weight. Yeah, with loss, loss of weight, right? And that yes. would be with with one O, so lose. Oh, yes. Okay, good, good, nice job. Thank you, Adela. Let's go to uh, number seven, and this is for Amar. Amar, are you back? No. Okay, let's uh, let's try out uh, Amparo, number seven, please. There are some false pieces on the table. Okay, good. Yes, there are some loose puzzle pieces on the table. Okay, they're separate. They're detached. Okay, good job. Okay, how about uh, number eight? Uh, this is for Oksana. He's working too hard. In fact, he's losing it. No, I think this must be verb. Loose. He is lost, lost, lost. Yeah, so um, it would need to be with one O. This would be loosing. Yes, this is ad adverb. We need, or well, this is um, adjective. We need ad adverb. No. Yeah, this actually would not be uh, would not be a word. Loosing, okay? Uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't loosing. We would uh, loosening. Okay, would be the uh, would be the correct way to uh, say that in as a verb, um, but if if it's lose, we it, we would be so it, we would have to take out take out one o, okay, and it would be he's lose losing it, and that that is with the voiced s losing it, okay. Yes. Good. All right. How about uh, number nine? And this is for Brew. Uh, where did I lose my keys? Uh, incorrect. Okay, because incorrect. It is, uh, one, one O only. Yeah, it lose. needs to be one O. Lose. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Good. Okay, let's go to uh, Juan. Yeah. Uh, Juan, uh, number 10, please. Uh, wait, wait, wait a moment. Is my PC is broken now. Okay, Juan, can you see this okay? Juan, can you hear me? Okay, let's go to Sabri. Uh, Sabri, number 10, please. Ten, uh, he's lo uh, losing his belt. Correct. Okay. Very close. Now remember, up here I said that uh, loosing uh, would be, uh, um, it's not a word. We actually need uh, two extra letters. Okay. He is loosening. 
loosening. Oh, okay. no. Yeah, that's how we would say that. Loosen. He is loosening. Loosening. So the verb would be to loosen. To okay. loosen. And we would add an ing there, okay, with the form of to be. So he is, <coughs> excuse me, he is loosening his belt. Okay. I understand. Very excellent. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Got about uh, three minutes left. Let's see if we can get through some more of these here. So, uh, Selma, let's go to you. And uh, let's see here. Okay, uh, so let me have you uh, read through the uh, first couple sentences and uh, tell me if uh, if we uh, if we uh, need to use um, uh, lose, okay, lose or loose. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Uh, uh, Sam was too sad to lose his best friend. He and Riley used to go out for morning walks. Sam would let Riley loose so that he could uh, chase birds and other small creatures they okay. would just just tell right there very good so um number 12 is this going to be uh, loose or lose loose okay and uh number 11 is this going to be uh lose or loose lose lose okay good yes yeah, so sam was uh, sad to lose his best friend. That means that his best friend died. Okay, and he would let him loose so that he could chase birds. Thank you. Uh, how about uh, numbers uh, numbers thirteen and fourteen? Uh, this is for uh, let's see, see. Uh, hello, Chad. Sorry, I missed the the first part. Can you summarize it for me? Like, what is the difference okay. be between loose and loose? Uh, the the main difference between loose and uh, and lose. Okay, I'll type this here. First off, okay. First off, uh, loose. Okay, this is uh, voice voiceless voiceless s. Okay, and it is to um uh let's see uh, to make uh, something untight to um uh un uh, untie. Okay, something. Okay, or to release. Okay, so whenever you're talking about loose, you're releasing something. Okay, mm -hmm. um, lose has a voiced s, z, that z sound, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and this means to uh, 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 something you cannot find. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's the that's the main main difference. Okay. Where are we? All right. So thirteen, thirteen, and fourteen here. Okay, right here on this page. So go ahead and, and read through these uh, uh, these sentences and tell me uh, tell me what the answers would be. They would uh, they would lose themselves in the beauty of the countryside. Okay, lose or loose? Lose. Ah, uh, no, uh, lose, lose themselves. Good, yeah. they would lose themselves. Okay, next one. Uh, this works always. Sum up. What does it mean? Uh, Sam, Sam is a name. Ah, uh, Sam, Sam. Sam up. After a hard day. Okay, we would have uh, loosened, loosed, uh, yeah. or lost. Someone helps me, please. Okay, uh, our answer here would actually be loosened. So these walks always loosen Sam up after a hard day of work. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's go to uh, Cena. Let me. Yes. Um, uh, let me have you uh, do uh, 15 and 16, okay? And this will be the, our okay. last, uh, last when, little bit. Okay. Um, when Riley turned nine, he began to lose his eyesight. Good. Yeah, yeah, you lose your eyesight. That's when you... you 
don't have your you you the ability to see anymore. You okay. lose your eyesight. Uh huh? Mm -hmm. Even so, he would never, would never lose his sense of direction. Good. Yes. So, sense of direction. We use the word lose with that as well. Okay. okay All right. Uh, thank you, you guys. Uh, we do have to uh, end in class. Okay. Thank you for for coming in. Um, um, uh, I hope that explained a little bit more uh, about the difference between lose and loose. Okay. If not, you have this link that's here, um, and you can uh, you can uh, roll through that and see what the difference is uh, in your own time. I, I will probably get back to, back around to it in maybe a month and a half or so, something like that. I'll probably come back to the word. Right. So uh, thank you. Uh, my next class is actually going to be a reading comprehension class for uh, for beginning students. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank we'll see you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for the lesson. Thank you. Bye bye. No problem. Bye.